How many of you have walked into an art gallery and found the perfect painting? That's right. You walk into an art gallery and you found the perfect painting. Who said, I really need to speak to you later after this? Because <laughs> it's... You have the mind to buy it? You are a minority. Sorry? You have the mind to buy it. Oh, exactly. So, so let, me, let me then define the perfect painting, right? It's the artist that you want. It's the medium of your choice. It's the subject that you, you desire and the colors that you can appreciate. And it's exactly the right size and the right dimensions. And of course, the price that you consider right. So how many of you have found the experience of finding the right, the perfect painting? Awesome, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna find the gallery. It still remains um, something that most people cannot find in galleries. Um, you know, it, art buying hardly happens this way to most of us. So lucky you, and lucky whoever has found the perfect painting. Instead, we often search you know, in futility, not knowing that finding the perfect painting is like finding a unicorn. Right? But that's a separate topic for discussion, let's not digress. Instead, what do we get? We meet with art curators who tell us that the limited artists that we represent are exactly the right, price, uh, right artists to buy from at this point in time. In fact, they say, take it off the wall, buy it off the wall, because it's the hottest thing right now. If you don't buy that art piece right now, someone's going to come in and buy at a higher price next month or next year. Of course, you don't do that because um, and the next buyer who walks in, he gets the exact same line. And they would encourage you to buy at the price that the gallery recommends because after all, um, it's absolutely, you know, they have an absolutely logical way of figuring out what's value for money when it comes to art and it's absolutely indicative of market demand, right? So because of that, we kind of stop searching. In fact, Many people that I've spoken to in the last eight months, nine months, have stopped searching for art, and so their walls remain empty, or they fill it with mass-produced prints and large digital photos, or photos printed on canvas. All these things don't get us here. They are disguised as art, but they don't get us here. It looks beautiful here, but not here. It's not personal anymore. Have you ever noticed that we don't pay attention to these kinds of art? After a while, it fades into the background. The print, the mass-produced print, the photograph that's digitally printed, it just disappears into the background and people stop talking about it after a while. Until you commission a work of art. When you commission a work of art, you choose an artist that you like, you choose the medium, you choose the subject, you choose the colors, you dictate the exact dimensions for the art piece. You can say, 11 and a half inches by 43 inches just because that's all the space I have above my study. Or I want something that's not so tiny. I like the style. I want something really big because I want something to fill up the space above my sofa. The commission allows anyone to commission an original work of art. Perhaps soft watercolors for fond memory or perhaps very strong bold strokes a very thick acrylic paint to make a statement because commission art is very different. It gets us here. It allows us to tell our story. It could be a portrait of your young daughter on a stage at a school play. You could tell the artist, I want to focus only on her, take away everything out of the background because I want to always remember the look of satisfaction on her face when she was performing. <coughs> or you could tell the artist, bring on everything in the background. You know, create a really vibrant background so that she will always remember the fun that she had with her members of the theater. When you commission a work of art, you really create yourself in that piece of art. You really capture yourself and your subject and your, you know, your emotions in that piece. But why is it that most people don't think, don't give a second thought to commissioning art? Well, that's because of mass media, right? After all, what makes headlines these days are art pieces that are sold for hundreds of thousands of dollars or millions of dollars. In fact, one and a half years ago, an art piece it was essentially a blue, a, a canvas painted all blue with a white line down the middle was sold for $44 million. That's an exit in itself, by the way. But again, a separate topic. What doesn't make the headlines are artists from all over the world. We're talking about here in the US, Vietnam, Indonesia, Mexico. Artists from all over the world, some even in our own neighborhood that are incredibly talented very willing and very capable of painting, creating an art piece that is exactly for you. But they're generally disconnected from people like you and I, 
who have since given up looking for the perfect art piece. What we want to do is we, we built the commission to connect a com an international community of artists to enable every one of us to commission an original work. I'm going to show you what it looks like right now. I focus... Is it going up? I think the light bulb has uh, come, turned off because it was off for so long. Oh. Take, uh, it make it oh, there it is. Okay. So this is the commission. Um, we are in the process of really launching it. As you know, there's no real one big launch. But we lifted the password. We shared it with TechCrunch about a week ago. Uh, this is the page that you will see. Um, we do have... If you're ever in doubt, you just click on this click chat here and you get, you know, you, you'll immediately be served by a member of our team. What we encourage people to do is our users and clients will browse the artwork. We have, we showcase some of the highlighted artists. Uh, every single day we have new highlighted artists. Um, you could click on meet the artist to go to a page that shows you um, even more artists. And if you like a particular style, for example, Jessica Watts from Australia, uh, we bring you to her page where you can see the, the artworks that she's done. These are all her portfolio pieces. Some of them are for sale. You can click and buy it. Um, and all of them have a customize this button. So you can click on customize. You can favorite it. You can bookmark the artist as well as the artworks so that if you want to just browse um, right now and make a decision later, you can do that. Um, and you can also know who the artist is. You can read about the artist, uh, what drives him or her, uh, the exhibitions that he or she has participated in, as well as the awards that he or she has won. When you are logged in, you will also see a price indication, so you will not be in that awkward position where you realize you can't afford that art piece. Generally, most of the artists are very affordable. The works are affordable because they don't have overinflated egos and overinflated price tags. You could commission an original artwork from between a few hundred dollars to a few thousand dollars. Um, larger and more complex pieces can cost eight to ten thousand dollars, but all in a, you know, all offering very good value for money. Why? Because there's no crazy middleman in, in between taking away fifty to hundred percent or even two, three hundred percent of the fees away from the artist. So it's a win-win for both the artist as well as the buyer. What we really want to do is we really want to enable artists all over the world to create art, to enjoy creating art for people, and to make a living from it. I was just, you know, I was just in Penang two months ago, spoke with an artist who was on our platform. The day that I met her, she was going to take on a job at Ernst & Young's in Kuala Lumpur. Why? Because art cannot provide her with the means to make a living. And we're hoping that this platform transforms that for her. So you can see our artist page. We also have an ideas tab. If you're not sure, this is really blurry, but if you're not sure, you know, when, what are the occasions, how to work with an artist, the ideas page will show you that. Uh, we also have a blog and, and uh, you know and a Facebook page that will you know uh, that will give you ideas on how to work with artists. Uh, this I'm not sure if you can see this, but this is a blogger who tried our platform. Uh, she found an artist that she really liked, a Brazilian artist who resides in Singapore, who's got very strong, bold, abstract strokes, uh, and does incredible pieces of work on glass. She sent the blogger, uh, she sent the artist a few pictures of her family's trip in the forest. And she commissioned a piece called A Forest Walk. The artist turned it into something like that. Uh, this is a draft. She turned it into this piece. I don't think you can really see how, you know, I don't think you can really appreciate the quality of this artwork because of the projector. Um, but I'll be happy to show it to you on my, on my, on my yeah, always blame, always blame technology. No, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but you can come in. I, I'm happy to show you the artwork. Um, so it could be something like that. This is my goddaughter. Um, she was good. She turned six about two months ago. Uh, yes, turned six two months ago. She was going to get her own big girl's room, and her mom commissioned a piece of this little girl in her favorite blue dress with bunnies and butterflies, um, you know, and trees and all that. So again, much more impressive on this and in real life. Uh, I wish I could show it to you. But that's that's all that I have. Um, there are a couple of things I'm looking for. I heard that I can actually make requests. Um, we're looking for customers, so we're looking for clients. <laughs> well, it is coming. It is Christmas. Uh, we're looking for clients who want to make a meaningful gift. Um, we don't have a promo code, but if you approach me later, it'd be socially awkward for me not to offer anything. <laughs> um, 
we're looking for advocates. Uh, we've actually found a few people, you know, initial clients who have been really passionate about the fact that they could commission art. And uh, we're actually building, we're, we're thinking of building an advocacy program. I, I'm, I'm quite happy that in this setting, I'm not ashamed to say we're in the process of building. Uh, we want to build an advocacy program where we enable people to talk about art with their friends, educate them on how to commission art, and then through them offer some form of referral fee. Um, and the other thing is, um, I would like you to, you know, if you if you do want to see what we're up to right now, uh, we're actually doing a, a custom piece for Vanity Fair's new established submit. Right now, uh, yesterday, today, and tomorrow, there's a new establishment submit organized by Vanity Fair. Uh, they have a list of disruptors. They, according to them, they are the tech titans, uh, movers and shakers in Hollywood and Silicon Valley. And they're, you know, Mark Zuckerberg, for example, is what, number one on the list. Number two on the list, who remembers number two? Um, but, you know, Mark Zuckerberg, Larry Page, um, Elon Musk, they're all on this list. You know, very influential people, and they are being recognized by uh, Vanity Fair as the new establishment, and we're actually doing a commission piece for them right now. We're trying to find a way to give them the piece tomorrow. So if you search for hashtag VF submit, you'll find, what, find out what we're doing. Uh, we're on Twitter, at the commission, uh, on Instagram, and on Facebook as well. Thank you for listening. <laughs>